we go. <laughs> Guys, why are we out of our seats? Uh, Let's go back, please. Nice. All right. Goodness gracious. All right. So, what we've got today, we're going to be looking at graphing inequalities. Okay, graphing inequalities. So, title that up here. Now we're going to be graphing linear inequalities. All right. All right. That's better. All right. Today's the focus will be lines that are in slope intercept form. Okay, we're going to be graphing things in slope intercept form. So the good news is if you do not think that you are very good at graphing, or if you feel like you've been making a lot of mistakes with graphing, well, we're going to get more practice today. There's one more opportunity for you to like see it again. Okay. Um, and then for those that do get it, well, great. Then it should be pretty easy for you, pretty straightforward. Okay. So before we talk about actually graphing, though, I just want to review the names for our inequality symbols. So for example, if you see this symbol, what does that mean? Less than. Less than. OK, and that means then this one is what? Greater than. OK, and if you see this one, what does it mean? Less than or equal to. And if you see this one, greater than or equal to. OK? And so what we're going to be doing then is graphing linear inequalities. OK? It's like graphing lines, but there's a few little extra pieces we have to uh, take into account. Um, so let's just get into one here. I'll start out with something that's pretty straightforward maybe. So let's go like y is greater than or equal to 2x plus 1. OK? y is greater than or equal to 2x plus 1. Now remember, all these today are going to be in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. Or in this case, y is greater than or equal to mx plus b kind of thing, right? So all right. Let's go to oh, someone we have already heard from yet. Shepard. Oh, no, we already heard from Shepard. Sorry, let's go to someone we haven't heard from yet. How about Reagan? Reagan, what is the slope of this going to be? The slope would be 2 over 1. Yeah, 2 over 1. Very good. And folks, if you find yourself, you know, maybe it'll be helpful for you to write that out. Let's just write that out. M equals 2 over 1 here in this case. And I'll kind of like do something like this. Okay, so this is our first example, and again, m is equal to 2 over 1. Okay, and then good, Reagan. So, what's the y intercept here, Reagan? 1. 1. Yeah, so b, the y intercept, is 1. Okay, so Reagan, if I were to look and try and graph that here, I would want to start by graphing my y intercept, and so where should I go from the origin to graph my y intercept? Which way? Up one. Up one, and then put a point, right? And then from this point, that's on my line, right? It's wider. <coughs> where do I go now to get more points? Up to over one. Over one to the right, right or over one to the left? Right one. Yeah, very good. And up to right one again and up to right one again. Or instead of going up to right one, we could do which direction? Up to left one. Not up to Down left one. Down to the right. Reagan, Reagan, Reagan. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. You can do, wait, which one did I say? Instead of up to right one, we could go. So don't flip the numbers around. It's the direction. Instead of going down up, to, oh, it can go down, yeah. down to left one. Down to left one. Down. To, I'm just going to keep going until I fill it in there. Now, you'll notice I haven't drawn my line yet. Okay, And this is where inequalities are a little bit different than lines. Okay, The inequality symbol that we have here is um, what, Shepard? What's this inequality symbol again? Greater than or equal to. So does that mean we should include the line as a solution, or we should not include it? If we have equal to, do we include the line or not? Yes. Shepard. Yeah, include it. So to show that we include it is very similar to how we show that we include the points when we graph the linear um, equation.
equations, I guess, or yeah, the, the inequalities. When we graph the inequalities, we include it by making it solid. So this line that we're going to draw, this line we're going to draw is going to be solid. Okay, and of course, put arrows, please, at the end to show it keeps going. Okay, very good. But we're not quite done yet. So that's like the equal to part. We graph that, but we want to show all the y values that are greater than or equal to 2x plus 1. So Kendall, if we want to show all the y values that are greater than or equal to 2x plus 1, we're going to not only graph this line, but should we shade above the line or below the line for greater than? Above, above yeah. Okay. All of the solutions that we want to show are above this boundary line. So we're going to shade above the line here like this. You don't have to fill it in, you know, completely. Just get the get, just get the idea there. Okay? This is like what we do when we draw our number line and we have the arrow go in a certain direction. The arrow, remember, shows where all of the solutions to this inequality lie. You can pick any number where you've shaded and plug it into the inequality and that solves it. Same thing is true here. Pick any point in this shaded area any point, if you plug it into this inequality, will work. Let me show you what I mean. So um, let's have um, Tyler C. Tyler C, pick a point, pick a point, a coordinate that's in this shaded area here. Uh, <coughs> well, let's make it. Let's make it kind of like something that I can show here. Just, but I see what you're saying. But yeah. Negative two. Negative two. Okay. Negative two. <laughs> negative two, two? Yes. Okay, so the point, negative two, two. So I'm just going to pick this point right here just to show you. Just to show you what I'm talking about. So this is the point, negative two, two. Okay, it's kind of hard to see. And we're going to check it in our inequality. So, Tyler, since you chose negative two, two, what number is going to go in for the y? Positive 2 is greater than or equal to 2. And then what goes in for the x? Yeah, to check it here. Yeah, that's right. And so we'll just multiply it out, right? 2 times negative 2, negative 4. Plus 1 is 2 there. OK, and sorry, the 2 there, not is 2. So negative, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. We have the plus 1 still. And then we'll do the negative 4 plus 1. What's negative 4 plus 1? Negative 3, right? OK. So is 2 greater than or equal to negative 3? Yes, yes, check, right? That works. And in fact, we could sit here for the rest of our days picking each one of these points in this shaded area here and checking it in the inequality, and it would always make the inequality true. <coughs> what about if we picked a point, what if Tyler had picked a point on the line? If Tyler had picked a point that was on the line, would that make the inequality true? Yes, yes because remember, the, the line is solid. So any point on the boundary line here any point on the line would also work because, again, it's solid. We include all those points as solutions. Okay? Questions on any of that so far? Pretty straightforward stuff. All right. Let's see what we've got here next. So let's try another one. Uh, how about y is less than negative one-third uh, minus uh, four? Okay? So there's our next one. Live. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot the x. <laughs> Sorry. Let me rewrite that. That's my mistake. y is less than negative one-third x minus 4. Sorry about that. I'm sorry. I forgot to put the x in, and that was my bad. Yeah. Some of you guys forgot to put x's in for your quizzes uh, yesterday, too, so be careful with that. Right? We want to include the x when we're writing the inequality here. All right, so Liv, what's the slope of this? What's the... Negative 1 over 3, right? That's the m. It's the number with the x. What's the y-intercept here, Liv? Negative 4. Yeah, yeah. Again, y equals mx plus b. So the m is always next to the x. And then the b is the other constant number. OK? So Liv, from the origin, we'll go down 4, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, right here. There is a point. OK? And then from here, Liv, what does our slope say to do? 
It's a negative 1 over 3. So from here, I should go which direction? Down how much? 1. And then, yeah, right 3 or left 3 when you say over? Correct. Yeah, the negative is 1's negative, the 3 is positive. So we'll go there. Okay, down 1, right 3. I kind of run out of space. And instead of going down 1, right 3, so Reagan, instead of going down 1, right 3, what's the other direction we could go? Yeah, there you go. Good job. Okay. Can I actually get a ruler? Yeah, 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 yeah. Miss Mulcahy, would you mind if people want rulers? The box is like falling apart. So there's like a little thing that was open. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now. How should we draw our line now? Should we use a solid line? Mm -hmm. Why not? It does not have an equal to, right? So since it doesn't have an equal to, but we still want to show there's a border. We still want to show there's a border. So we don't want to put a solid line because it's not including those, those answers, right? The, the, the line, all these points here, they do not actually work on the inequality, but they're going to be part of our border. So how can we show there's a border but say that it doesn't really exist? or that, that we, those aren't solutions. We're going to use a dotted line. Okay, or a dashed line if you like. Okay, if, you, if you're drawing that, okay, you can feel free to draw a solid line and then like erase it so it's, it's dashed, or if you just wanna do dashes with your pencil, that's fine too. Okay, but do try and be accurate with it. Do try and be precise. Okay, now. We still have to do the shading part, too. All right. Since it says y is less than negative 1 third x minus 4, Daniel, should we shade? Does it make sense to shade above our line or below our line here, given that that's our inequality symbol? Below. Below. Yeah, below. Okay. The y values should be below. So we're going to shade below. Okay. So. Is the origin a solution to this inequality? No. Why not? Here's the origin right there, right? Why is that not a solution? Scott? <coughs> okay, and what do we where is zero zero located? Is it in the shaded area? No. No. So it's not in the shaded region, it's not a solution. So every point in this white space. Right? Every point in here, not a solution. It will not work in this inequality. Any point in this darkened space, and of course extend it too, it will be a solution. Sky question. What if it's partial? Okay, so what if we have just like y is greater than 3 or y, something like that, you're saying? No, what if like the line is vertical? Okay, we'll talk about that. Let's do one of those. All right, so y is, let's say, greater than um, negative 4, like this. Okay, let's talk about this one. Y is greater than negative 4. Okay, so in a situation like this, when you have the Y, is this horizontal or is it going to be vertical? Um, vertical. Okay, this one's horizontal. So let me help you with this one. If you, are, if you see this and you're kind of stuck, think of this as like, I'll put this in quotes, like Y equals negative 4. Okay, when you have Y equals negative 4, remember that gives you a table where all, no matter what x value you pick, your y values are going to be negative 4. Okay, so you can pick like 1, 2, 3 there if you want to. Who cares for the x values? But the y values have to be negative 4. Okay, if you were to graph this then, 1, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, point. Uh, 2, negative 4, 3, negative 4. Okay, so you can see, Sean, right, it creates that horizontal line without you having to think too much about it. Just make that little table where all your y values are negative 4. Okay, and plot those three points there. And you can see, oh, this is the horizontal line. Now, Sean, what kind of line are we going to draw? Solid or dotted? Uh, because, we're, again, we're trying to graph this. We're trying to graph this. So dotted, exactly right. So connect the dots using a dotted line. OK. And so, Dylan, what is this inequality symbol again? Greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to, which one? Greater than, well done, Dylan, with the distraction even. Good job. Um, so does that mean above or below then we're going to shade? For greater than, think greater than. Where should we shade? 
above. That's right. Uh, wait for the next one and then yes. Please. Any number you pick here, any any point you pick, any point you pick will be greater than negative 4. I have a question. Yep. So because it's greater than, you know the shade above, right? Exactly. So we have, it says, if it's a negative, you still shade above and it's greater. Right, and if it's, or if, it's, if this was positive, you shade above. But it, again, the key is it's in slope intercept form. We have y is greater than, right? <coughs> Think about your y. What do your y coordinates describe? How you go up or down, right? Moving up or down. And so if you're saying the y values that are solutions, the y values must be greater than negative 4. Where are the y values greater than negative 4? They're going to be above negative 4. We should be above because the y value is positive. Okay? If it's less than, right, the y values are less than this thing, well, there's the thing. Our y values are less than that. We want to shade below that for under, you know, less than kind of thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I was off the screen. There we go. Y's are less than this. There's the this. There's the line. So we want to shade less than that. Okay. Now, there's one little there's one little thing that makes it a little bit trickier sometimes, and that would be if I had something like this. Okay. So let's look at the x is greater than or equal to three. Okay. So Sean, what kind of line is this going to be? Uh, that will be a uh, solid. Okay. It'll be solid. Is it going to be horizontal or is it going to be vertical? Um, that would be um, vertical. This one is vertical. Good job. Okay. Again, if I make a little table. Think back to x equals 3. If I make a little table here, okay, in this case, all my x values are going to be 3. My y values will be different. Okay, so again, plot them 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3. You can see that vertical line filling in, it's forming. And Sean was right, it's going to be a solid line. Okay, and so Reagan, I showed this one to you because the vertical line here, and for other folks too, okay, just want you to think about it here. The vertical line we have drawn here, is there an above for this vertical line? No. no. Not really, right? There's not really a region above. It's completely vertical. So we don't have really above and below. We have right and we have left though, don't we? Left is negative. So, oh, so okay. right, we want to know here, for, we want to know. We want to show the x values that are greater than or equal to three. So, for the greater than or equal to, with just the x's, should I shade to the right of it or to the left? Oh, I heard left and right. Uh oh. So to the right. To the right. Okay. Shade to the right. Yes. Now you may, Dylan. Even though you answered incorrectly, but you know now, right, Dylan? You know now. Um. Sure. When he comes back. Okay. I go after. Uh. Well. the right here, okay? This is the only exception. So every other linear inequality that we're going to graph is going to be like y's. So Reagan, everything else will be y is greater than, y is less than, and then you just go above or below. But for this one exception, we have a vertical line to really check in right or left. But it still kind of makes sense, right? It makes sense that greater than should be to the right, less than should be to the left. It's like a number line, yeah. right? So it's, it makes sense, okay? All right. Let's... Um, I'll have you guys do two, and then we'll have you get started on the assignment, okay? So here, try these two. Okay, so let's have you do y is less than So there's your two. Okay, give those a try. These are inequalities, okay? And be careful whether you are supposed to do a dotted line or a solid line.
Actually, let me do mine first. Hang on. Here. Oh, I 
flip the order on. Yes, I know. I was trying to trick you just to make sure that you turn the check the right spot. It's not always the first number, it's the number in front of the X. That's your slope. So now we have higher, like, what do you have the Mark, you doing okay here? All right, what's the slope for this problem? Negative. See that? Right now, this is negative. 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 Negative.
don't need to for line equal to you can do into line for solid B for solid B is what you want. You want it to include it. Correct. So solid line is equal to line.
Thanks for fixing the box there in a small case. You kids laugh at me for my taking skills. How I wrap presents too. You're very thin. There's all sorts of things you can put in there. You put toiletry items, toothbrushes, and things. Mr. Woodmar, yes. Yes. Do you like a So don't forget. Wait, are only the Yes. Do you think that's a diamond? 